Oh, so graceful. Hello everyone, it's Alicia Malone. Welcome to my bedroom. Don't know why I'm doing jazz hands there. This is another episode of Fandango Indie Movie Guide and there are three great films out in theaters this weekend that I want you guys to see, so let's get into it. These movies are all very different from one another. Let's start with a complicated emotional drama called Blue Jay. Jim? Hi Amanda. <laughs> this is all in black and white and it tells the simple but very emotionally complex story of two exes who bump into each other in their hometown. Mark Duplass plays the guy, Sarah Paulson the girl. Tell me about your husband. Really? Yeah. You're not married, huh? No, 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 no. Married to the work. Married to the drywall Married, married to the work. I'm trying to get through this call. <laughs> This coffee is terrible. And the interesting thing is, apart from a brief moment with a liquor store guy, these two are the only actors in this entire movie. But it doesn't seem like it at all, and this is why I love the Duplass brothers. Mark Duplass and his brother Jay are like my indie heroes because they produce these tiny little films. They also write movies. Mark Duplass wrote this one. They direct films as well, and they're both actors. <laughs> This time the Duplass brothers are supporting first time feature director Alex Lehman who shot this movie in just seven days. It's very relatable. It's about love, it's about loss. Blue Jay is actually the first of their four picture deal with Netflix who have agreed to finance movies that the brothers produce. They're going to give them a short theatrical window and then take it onto streaming. So you can see Blue Jay in theaters this weekend and then it comes out on demand on October 11. We weren't very cool. No, we were <laughs> deeply uncool. Switching gears completely to the greasy strangler. My dad can get cranky sometimes. As your father, I forbid you to marry. He sure has a temper on him. He likes to shout. I like to smile. <laughs> this is an absurd, bizarre, insane, disgusting movie, but one that I am so glad exists because it'll give you an experience at the theatre, whether you hate it or whether you love it. It's something unique, and it's nothing like those unoriginal blockbusters we see these days. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm being a little unfair on blockbusters. I'd rather have an experience that challenges me, you know, whether it makes me laugh, makes me cry, or makes me want to throw up like the Greasy Strangler. Kiss my juicy cherry lips. Just don't do what I did and order fried pickles and milkshakes while watching this movie. Poor choice, there's a lot of nudity, a lot of full frontal nudity. Uh, it's definitely rated R, so if you're easily offended, then it won't be for you. But if you're looking for something to shake you up, definitely check out The Greasy Strangler. I am The Greasy Strangler. You're all right, Braden. Thanks, Dad. That means a lot coming from you. And now, my pick of the week, Under the Shadow. This is set in Tehran in 1988 as Iraqi bombs were exploding all over the city during the Iraq-Iran war. And this story is about a mother and daughter who were the last to leave their building as bombs were literally coming down on them and then just when they're about to leave that's when her daughter starts getting terrorized by an evil demon. It's a co-production between Qatar, Jordan and the United Kingdom and I'm going to slap a big awards watch over this one Wah! because this is the official British entry for the best foreign language film at the upcoming Academy Awards. That's what I decided to do with this show. If there's a film that I think will be up for Oscars or have been submitted for Oscars, I'm going to put awards watch on it. So if you're like me and you're a big Oscar nerd, you can get ahead of the pack and go and see it. You know, Bobo. Regardless of whether you're into awards or not, definitely go and check out Under the Shadow. I was like this during most of the film. Much like The Babadook, it's a thoughtful horror movie that explores a mother-daughter relationship, but then it also has that layer of what it's like to be a woman living under those kind of restrictions. So 
So just to recap, if you're looking for a thoughtful drama, then Blue Jay is for you. If you want something that will disturb you, but you will definitely have an experience seeing it, then go and watch The Greasy Strangler. Or if you're after some scares and don't mind subtitles, then Under the Shadow is for you. At the very end of this show, I'm also putting up three titles if you want to explore more of what the Duplass brothers have produced or directed or acted in. Definitely recommend watching those at home on Fandango Now. I'm Alicia Malone. I'll see you next time.